Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. You have already guessed I'm gonna make a dolly jump effect tutorial. A lot of dolly jump effect tutorials on the internet. But I'm gonna show the easiest way to make a dolly jump effect using manual tracking inside Premiere Pro. The dolly jump effect is a classic Hollywood cinematic technique. This effect requires a zoom lens, a lengthy slider and camera operating skills. But in our case, we do it inside Premiere Pro applying some changes in the drone footage. As usual, we have two video clips on the timeline. The first one is a drone flying forward in the same direction. And in the second footage, a drone is moving backward. I'll show you two different ways to make a dolly jump effect for these two different clips. First of all, we have to select the first footage on the timeline and then in the effect controls, drag the time indicator to the first frame. To set the keyframes for the position and the scale, click on the stopwatch of the position and scale. Now we can drag the time indicator to the ending portion of the video and create two keyframes by clicking on these icons. As this video is moving forward, so we have to go to the first keyframe and change the value of the scale to around 160 to 200. In my case, I'll set it to 190. Now do a playback, it looks good but I wanna make it better by changing the position of the video using the manual tracking technique. Let's go to the last keyframe, take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in the program monitor. Now select the selection tool and place the rectangle layer on the first video and extend its duration. Now make sure the graphics or rectangle layer is selected. Then click on the motion to enable it. Now I'm gonna move this rectangle exactly here under this curve of the hill. So this curve is our tracking point. Now select the video layer and go to the fast keyframe. Then click on this motion to activate it. Now it is important for us because we have to change the position of the video. So this is the curve of the hill our tracking point. Let's place this point above the rectangle. Well, let's do a playback, it looks better than before. Now we can hit the enter key to render this effect. Now it is important to show you another way to make a dolly jump effect for this moving backward video. So select the video layer and go to the first frame of the video. As usual, create a couple of keyframes of the position and the scale in the first and the last frame of the video. Now it is crucial that we change the scale value for the first keyframe in the first video as the video was moving forward. But now we are gonna change the last keyframe's scale value as the video is moving backward. Well, I'm gonna change it to 200. Now we can drag the time indicator to the first keyframe. Move the graphic layer on the top of the second video and extend its duration. Now it is time to enable the motion of the graphic layer and we can place the rectangle right here. So this tree is our tracking point. Now select the second video to go to the last keyframe and click on this motion. Well now it is time to change the position of the video for this keyframe following the first keyframe. Now move the time indicator then you'll notice it made some changes and it's fine. At this point in the dolly zoom tutorial we must delete the rectangle layer. To render this effect go to the sequence at the top and select render effects into out. So guys I think you really enjoyed this dolly zoom effect tutorial which is slightly different from others. You can apply this kind of technique to make an easy dolly zoom effect. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you later in the following tutorial.